Anthony Bridgerton actor Jonathan Bailey returned to our screens via the hit Bridgerton series recently, blowing fans away with a second series based all around his character, Anthony, and his search for love, however little interest he has in settling down. But what do fans actually know about the man who plays the eldest Bridgerton sibling? Today we're talking all about things you never knew about Jonathan Bailey. Don't go anywhere! First up, we're discussing his young dreams. Believe it or not, Jonathan has actually had his sights set on acting since he was a young boy. Whilst his school friends and peers might have dreamt about becoming football players, astronauts, or policemen, it seems as though Bailey had his career path dialed in from the very beginning. His dream was cemented after seeing an early production of the classic stage play Oliver, which was based on the 1838 novel Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Of course, Bailey later realized his dream by appearing in a 1995 stage show of A Christmas Carol, before going on to appear in TV show Bramwell in 1997, where he had a small role as William Kilshaw. And of course, the rest, as they say, is history. Next up, he is actually a trained ballet dancer. Stay with us. As we all know, the man who plays Anthony Bridgerton is most famed for his acting chops. But when he was a young man, he was also a very highly rated ballet dancer, which might surprise a few people. During childhood, he was regularly seen in dance studios and on stage, performing the famous dance. But thankfully, for fans of shows such as Bridgerton and Broadchurch, he decided to plumb for acting instead, which we appreciate. More Netflix shows you might not have been aware of now. Stick around. Of course, Bailey is probably most famous for the mega hit Bridgerton, which dropped a couple of years back and is potentially set to run for around eight seasons, thanks to there being eight Bridgerton siblings. But you might also know Bailey from another Netflix show, Chewing Gum, back in 2017. During the show, Bailey appeared as the character Ash for the season two episode Replacements. Have you ever seen Chewing Gum? Let us know your thoughts on it below. We're discussing these famous sideburns now. If you have seen even one minute of Bailey's Anthony Bridgerton on screen, you will have noticed those world-class sideburns the character sports. Well, we can, in fact, reveal that those glorious style accessories aren't actually part of a wig, as some fans have suggested, but they are natural, 100%. Bailey revealed that most fans assume that, because the hair and makeup, as well as the costume designs, are so integral to the show. People just assume that the sideburns were a part of his costume. But in a recent interview, he squashed those rumors once and for all, admitting they are real. Are you a fan of the actor's sideburns? And if not, why not? Next up, Adventure is the name of the game for Bailey. As you might have realized, if you are a fan of the man himself, he is no stranger to adventure and seeks it out everywhere he goes. When not on stage or in front of the camera, Mr. Bailey is actually a big fan of extreme sports. The St. Trinian's actor has revealed that he's always looking out for his next white knuckle experience and has been known to go swimming, climbing, hiking, and camping during his time off, as well as more extreme sports like snowboarding and paragliding. Our favorite Bridgerton also enjoys exercising and doesn't like to sit still for too long and has revealed that he is always looking for fun ways to burn off excess calories. He enjoys long distance running too, and has even taken part in the London Marathon, which is pretty cool. What do you like to do to work out? Give us your best tips below. We're discussing his other work now, stay tuned. So we know Jonathan is a very talented actor, having appeared in many stage, TV, and film roles. But he also has another string to his bow, which some fans might not be aware of. Around the same time he was appearing in an episode of Doctor Who back in 2014, he was approached by the makers of the video game Forza Horizon 2. The game developers offered him the role of Dan Williams, which he duly accepted. Unfortunately, his appearance in the franchise only lasted for one game, and unfortunately, he wasn't offered any more roles on further Forza Horizon games. However, his talent was noticed by other video game developers, and he has since appeared in games such as Everybody's Gone to the Rapture and Anthem. Possibly his most notable roles, however, were his appearances in Final Fantasy XIV, Shadowbringers, and Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, in which he played Crystal X. Sarge, Garatia, and Garatia Growing Way. And it seems as though he's not done yet. 2022 will see him appear as Aaron C. Tao in the upcoming Squadron 42. Were you aware of Bailey's video game prowess? Let us know below. Next up, we're discussing his personal life. Thanks to his portrayals as the womanizing Anthony Bridgerton on the show which bears the character's name, fans might not be too aware that the actor himself is actually gay. He has no problems discussing his sexuality, and has stated on numerous occasions his stance on LGBT actors playing LGBT characters. We're not sure we agree with this one, however, as it's called acting, right? You're supposed to be playing somebody you're not. We're definitely all for LGBT actors having the same opportunities as everyone else, and certainly think that they should be considered for leading roles. But if you start putting aside certain roles for certain actors, then it starts getting extremely murky. What do you guys make of this? Let us know your ideas below. We're talking about his future plans now. Stay with us. Of course, just as we mentioned, Bailey is a gay man, and thankfully nowadays there's a lot less stigma
stigma surrounding LGBTQ people, which now means they can get married, as should, of course, be the case. And Bailey himself actually harbors dreams of one day tying the knot, and has, in the past, been quoted as saying, I 100% believe in a long-term committed monogamous relationship. That's completely my worldview. Having a family is something I've never wavered on. I think I was always inquisitive about open relationships and how that works, but I think I know that I would want a long-term committed relationship. I would totally marry someone if they wanted to marry me. How nice. I'm sure plenty of you guys wouldn't mind taking him up on his offer, right? And now we're discussing his superstitious side. Of course, we know that some actors like to go to extremes where superstition is concerned. One famed Hollywood actor even allegedly bought $3 million worth of tickets for the opening night of his movie to make sure he was number one. Others have their own rituals, which they like to take part in, and Bailey is no different. When acting on stage, he'll often do things like flicking his watch. And he also revealed that when he was once doing a play at the National, he got to the point where I felt I had to take a half a paracetamol before every entrance. What are some of your superstitions? Let us know below. And finally, a bit of Bridget and News surrounding Bailey's character. Stay with us. As fans of the show will know, season two culminated in the social event of the year, as Anthony Bridgerton and Kate Sharma were set to tie the knot. But of course, fans didn't actually get to see the pair walk the aisle. But why not? Well, we know they definitely went through with the wedding, as we saw them on their honeymoon a short time after. And Bridgerton director Cheryl Dune has kindly cleared up why we didn't actually see the pair exchange vows. She said, There was a big wedding before, two weddings in a show that were spectacular. One could not do after the other. Well, well, well. She went on to explain that it would have been difficult to make the second wedding look bigger as the first one was pretty epic, which we guess is fair enough. So what does Simone Ashley have to say about her debut season on Bridgerton? Well, she talked about how confident she felt when asked about her sex scenes with our man Jonathan. She revealed, I was very excited to be doing these scenes, where we can show a dark-skinned woman and her body and not be so taboo about it, especially a dark-skinned Indian woman, where maybe they're represented in a conservative way sometimes. We think it's great that the show has put minority actors in lead roles and hope that this is a trend that we'll see much more of going forward. What did you guys make of Simone in the role of Kate? As always, thanks for joining us today, and remember to stop by for some more fun and games next time. Also, why not like and share today's video? And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then what on earth are you waiting for? Bye, guys!